Square Appointments is an appointment scheduling platform with integrated point of sale, payment processing, and online shopping tools. With Square Appointments, you can manage your business calendar, track customer information, view sales reports, and track stock levels from a single customizable dashboard. This software is a perfect fit for service businesses that operate in the field or from a brick and mortar location. Hi, I'm Mary King, Senior Staff Writer at Fit Small Business. Today, I'll show you how to use Square Appointments, including how to set up your Square account, choose a Square Appointments plan, navigate the Appointments dashboard, add bookable services, customize your booking settings, set up online booking, set up payments, and invite customers to book on your site. I'll also show you some optional steps like adding staff members, retail items, and setting up hardware. No need to take notes. We have all the steps written down in our How to Set Up a Square Appointments article, which I've linked in the description box below. So let's jump right in. To get started with Square Appointments, you first need to sign up for a free account. Navigate to the Square Appointments website and click the Get Started button. Square will prompt you to enter your email and create a password, and then a new screen will request your business name, phone number, and local time zone. It'll also ask your business type. Square will then prompt you to confirm your number of locations and staff, though you won't enter detailed addresses or employee types until much later. The system then directs you to choose features that you are interested in. These selections influence the prompt Square gives you to configure your account. Um, you can always add more features later, but this gives you a chance to note your interests now so that your setup can be tailored to you. Next, you'll choose a Square Appointments plan. You can choose from three different plans, free, plus, and premium. Every plan comes with booking tools and automated notifications, an online store, and payment processing. But the plus and premium plans include multiple staff calendars, Google Calendar Sync, no-show protection, and more. You can explore all the differences in depth in our full Square Appointments review, which is linked in the description box below. And you can also test drive either the plus or premium plans free for 30 days. Um, once you've completed Square's guided prompts, Square will load your dashboard. This is your business control center for Square appointments. And your initial Square dashboard includes a checklist that will prompt you through the rest of the setup process. This checklist tracks your progress. So if you need to stop mid setup, you can pick up where you left off when you next log in. If you already have a Square account or you exited the prompted setup process, you can access all of these settings on the settings menu, which is listed on the left-hand side. Before you can accept any appointments though, you first need to add services for customers to book. You can collect the services tab on your dashboard checklist or on the left side menu on the dashboard screen, then click create service. And then Square pulls up a form. You just fill in the blanks. Add the service name, a description, price. You can also add other factors like images. You can also specify how long each service takes. So the correct amount of time is blocked on your calendar. And you wanna also make sure to make your services bookable online, which you can also do in this part of the setup process. Once you've filled out all the details, just click Save and Square will add your new service to your services library. Once you have your baseline information in place, Square will prompt you to create a test appointment so you get used to the system. It pulls up with this form, you just fill out all the fields. You can create a new client or use an existing client name. Square will also prompt you to add a phone number or email address. And Square requires this information so the system can send appointment reminders. Um, each new contact that you add will automatically save to your account for future use. Once you add your appointment information, like the services you want to book and the date and time, Hit Save to add it to your calendar. Square will open a client notification option, and here you can choose how to confirm the appointment with the customer or even add a custom message. From there, your appointment will be on your calendar and your clients will be notified accordingly. 
This next step is a sidestep from the Square onboarding checklist, but we think it's a valuable one. Before opening your calendar up for bookings, you'll want to set your booking settings. You can adjust these after you set up online booking, but I personally have nightmares about someone booking before all my preferences and restrictions are set, so I encourage you to do this first. You just want to scroll over to the left-hand menu and select Settings, then Calendar and Booking. These settings determine where appointments can take place, whether appointments will automatically be accepted or whether you need to approve them first. You'll also control time zone settings and you can enable a waitlist if you would like customers to be able to request the waitlist. You determine when appointments are booked, how they're handled after they're booked, whether clients can schedule or cancel them themselves. Um, you can allow services to be booked online. You can remove your staff name from the booking site, or you can ensure that people can book with a specific staff member. You can also, if you have multiple employees, you can link their Google Calendar so they never miss a customer. And there's this fun setting at the very bottom of the page called the Fake It Filter. Um, what this enables you to do is block a certain percentage of your availability from your calendar. This is really useful for ensuring that you keep time set aside for admin tasks, but it has the added benefit of making your business look a lot busier to your customers. So once you have all of your settings adjusted, you just want to hit save to make your changes permanent. Now we make our appointment options available online so that customers can start booking their own appointments. In addition to the free Square online site that is included in every Square Appointments account, you can also add booking options to your existing website, as well as Instagram and your Google listing. And bookings made on any of these channels are automatically synced, so your calendar is always up to date no matter where your appointments come from. If you want to use Square's free website builder to create your booking site, you just want to choose the Square online website option from this channels menu and Square will generate a booking site from the information you've already entered. In the Square Appointments Free Website Designer, you can choose from different website templates. You can preview how your site will look on mobile or on desktop. You can add more information and personalize your website. And once you've set up everything to your liking, just click Publish to make it public. Technically, this next step is optional. You don't have to have payments configured in order to accept appointments through Square Appointments. So the Square Setup Workflow actually prompts you to invite customers to book appointments before it prompts you to set up your payment information. But if you plan to require payments for cancellation fees or online bookings, as most service providers do, you should set up your payments before inviting customers to book. So we recommend performing this step out of sync with the Square installer. All Square accounts are automatically enrolled in Square Payments. All you need to do is click Activate Card Processing and follow the ensuing steps to connect your Square account to your bank account. The first thing you'll have to do is verify your identity. You need to add in contact information and Square will ping your bank account just to make sure you are who you say you are. Square says that this can take 24 to 48 hours to verify your account and verify your identity. Um, personally, I've never had it take more than an hour or two. So every time I've set up a Square store, I've been able to take payments within an hour. With payments enabled, you can accept payments in person or online, require payment upon booking, add no-show protection, uh, create charges for customers who can't make their appointments, things like that. Once you've got everything set, it's time to let your customers know that they can book with you and tell them how. Square makes this really easy. You just want to click on this option to invite customers to book with you online. Set up now. And then Square gives you the option to create a campaign. This will take you to a form where you can create a custom email to send to your clients announcing your launch and linking them to your booking page. Once your email is designed, click the select audience button in the upper right hand corner and this will take you to a page where you can choose who you want to send your campaign to. So do you want to send it to all your customers, 
to a custom list of customers. You can also import a customer list if you would like. And it also gives you a nice preview of how the message will look on mobile devices and on desktop. If you have staff, sell retail items, or want to configure POS hardware, you'll want to keep watching for those additional steps. Let's start with hardware. You can operate Square appointments from any desktop computer, tablet, internet connected smartphone, or Square designed registers and POS terminals. Adding Square appointments to a smartphone is simple. You just download the app from the App Store or Google Play and sign in using your Square account credentials. You can also run Square appointments POS style from any iPad running the app, but you can also run them on Square designed hardware like the Square Stand or the Square Register. There are also multiple options for Square readers, um, so you can really customize your hardware. And you can purchase that hardware directly from Square. Whatever devices you choose, employee smartphones for field work, POS terminals for brick and mortar operations. If you want to run your Square appointments single account on multiple pieces of hardware, you'll configure them the same way. So you want to navigate to the settings tab on the left-hand menu, and then you wanna click manage subscription. From the subscription dashboard, you want to scroll down to the devices tab. And from here, you'll click on create a point of sale. This pulls up the point of sale configuration screen. The first thing you wanna do is add a nickname. This is what you're going to call each piece of hardware. So we're going to configure one for our front desk. And then you click create. So this code needs to be entered into the Square app on the hardware device. So if you're using an iPad at your front desk, for example, you would just want to log into Square and then add this device code in the app. If you're using employee smartphones, you can text the code to a smartphone. You can email this uh, to someone as well. And then you just wanna hit send. Something to keep in mind is that these device codes are only good for 48 hours. So you wanna make sure that you're sending it right about the time you're going to use it. Once connected, each device can be managed from your point of sale device dashboard, and you can add or delete affiliated devices as your staff changes. If you're adding a bunch of devices to your account, you likely also need to add employees. If you have multiple employees, you'll need to create a profile for each one of them. That way you can track their appointments and their sales and things like that individually. To add staff members, you want to navigate to the staff option on the left-hand menu, click add staff. You want to add in their details. And you will have to add an email address in order for them to access their account. You can also add a photo. You can change their display name. This is how they'll appear if they're bookable by clients. Give them a calendar color so you're able to tell the difference between different staff members on the same calendar. You can choose to notify them by email and or text message. You can set their hours, decide whether they're bookable directly by customers. And then you can choose what, what they can be booked for. And then you'll just want to hit save. And finally, if you are a multi-channel business offering both goods and services, you can add your retail items directly to Square appointments. That will make these items available for in-person and online purchases, and you can even set your Square appointments to track your stock levels and alert you when your supplies are low. This is not entirely intuitive, so I'm just going to show you really quickly. From your Square appointments dashboard, you want to click on Services here on the left-hand menu. That will take you to your library. 
And to add items, you want to click on item library here on the top left side. There are two ways to create items. You can use this quick create button um, and add just an item name, a stock level and a price if you need to do it on the fly. But we're going to use this create item option so I can show you the stock taking features. So when you scroll down, you have this option for stock and you can add low stock alert. You can mark what location it's available at. You wanna hit tracking. We are going to quickly add some stock that we just received. And we want the low stock alert when we only have two left. And now you can sell and track retail items in your appointment-based business. Square Appointments has a ton of features, as does the general Square small business platform. If there's a feature that we miss that you'd like to see, let us know in the comments. And until next time, happy booking.